Hi, I'm Adhubar Parker and welcome to this very first lecture of the model corrosion. Before we start the topic, I want you to know that corrosion is just not a topic from the syllabus, but it's a global problem. There are many consequences of corrosion that include safety effects, health effects, cultural effects or technological effects. But ultimately, it's going to affect on the economy of each country. According to American Galvanization Association, the cost of metallic corrosion worldwide is 2.2 trillion US dollars. And this range from approximately 1 to 5 percent of the gross national product of each nation. United States cost related to corrosion were the equivalent of 500 billion US dollars in 2010. And India has been losing around 1.52 lakh crore rupees per year due to corrosion. In this module, we are going to talk about what do you mean by corrosion, why corrosion occurs, different types of corrosion, how corrosion occurs in terms of the mechanisms, several factors affecting the rate of corrosion, and different methods to decrease the rate of corrosion. And in this particular mini lecture, we are going to learn what is mean by corrosion, why corrosion occurs, and types of corrosion. Corrosion is a process of deterioration, that means slow degradation, or destruction, that means complete damage of metal by the surrounding environment. That environment may be air, water, soil, etc. Depends on where we are using the metals through chemical or electrochemical reaction. So this surrounding environment reacts chemically or electrochemically with the metals which leads to the process called corrosion. Now the question is why metals get corroded? And the answer is, is because of oxidizing tendency of metals. What's that? Let's see. We obtain the metals from its natural, stable, combined form, that is minerals or ores. But this form of the metal is having very limited applications. Hence, we recover pure form of the metal from its ore, which having better applications. But this form of metal is in metastable form. And to obtain pure form of the metal, extraction process is carried out on the ore, which is chemically a reduction process. So we are using this pure but metastable form of metal for different applications. So to acquire stability, this metal always wanted to go into its stable combined form. And when in suitable environment, this oxidation reaction occurs, we call this process as corrosion. And stable form of the metal, that is corrosion product. 
So this oxidizing tendency of metal is cause for the corrosion of metals. Corrosion can be classified into two types dry or also called as chemical corrosion and wet or also called as electrochemical corrosion. This dry corrosion may be due to oxygen or due to some other gases and wet or electrochemical corrosion of either galvanic cell corrosion, concentration cell corrosion, pitting corrosion, stress corrosion or intergranular corrosion. So we learn that corrosion is nothing but environmental degradation of metals and corrosion occurs due to oxidizing tendency of metals and this can be chemical or electrochemical. These are some of the references used for this lecture. Thank you very much. See you next time.